Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Citizen, which is currently having a free fly event. And I usually stop in to check on the progress of Star Citizen when it has these free fly events uh, because I approve of them. I think people should be able to try out the game in its current state, being that it's still in development for free. Uh, so you can download it and check it out. Uh, of course, it's a little bit of a hassle to download uh, such a big program. You probably do want to run it off of an SSD if you want to get any performance. Uh, but you can try it out for free and it'll, it'll give you some ships to work with. And we are going to head to Microtech uh, to check out the, the expo, which will allow us to fly some ships I don't control. Uh, I have my Avenger Titan, but otherwise, and I have a Merlin as well. But that's all I have. So, but I don't know where I am right now, and that is because I uh, logged out last, sleeping in my ship, in my Avenger Titan. So I was just in a random location in bed in my ship. I was hoping that it would return me to that situation. Oop, it's very choppy as it loads stuff. I put the frame rate and all the other details in the upper right so that you know what's going on here, and uh, you can see the performance and uh, sort of. Judge from that number instead of maybe the recording, because the recording might be choppier than the actual b gameplay. Welcome. So, yeah, so I don't know where I am exactly. All the easy habs look like look the same. Uh, one thing they could do is maybe uh, have like easy hab, you know, L1 Hurston edition or something like that. Ooh. Eventually, once I get to my ship, it's all nice and smooth. It's only in these habitats that it tends to be very choppy, especially just after waking up. But again, you can experience it for yourself. So from these easy halves we go to the Galleria, and that's where... Well, um, no. Well... Oh, oh boy, it's doing... Uh, it's having a harder time. Galleria is where we pick up cargo, that's not where I want to go. I want to go to the hangars. Uh, I guess I was already there. I get lost in these places very easily. Okay, uh, um, they've given us a free CO Nomad and Origin 100i. Um, let's try the Origin 100i, which I haven't flown before, so we'll go ahead with that. Pad 1, okay. So obviously I don't have the experience in the game that a lot of other people do because I only stop in like every few months maybe. Um, but that does give me a better sense of what has improved because I remember how it was the last time I played. And it's not as smooth a transition shall we say. I played just yesterday during a live stream and we did not... Uh, I was live streaming and we didn't have all these loading problems. But I guess there's a lot more people in, maybe. What? How many doors do you have? Okay, seriously. You're annoying me. Okay, can I go through? I, I can go through. <laughs> uh, it's still glitchy. Alright. But there's a ship. I have not flown this ship before. I look like this. I chose a mohawk deliberately and finally they fixed the issue with the mohawk clipping through the helmet. That's good. The 100i is a starter ship. It's a cute starter ship. The other starter ships are sort of blocky. I don't really like its face though. But then again, since it's a starter ship, you should want to like upgrade to something else maybe. So it's probably best if it doesn't look too good. That's a door. Um, I guess that's a cargo door. That could be handy. So I could put a cargo package in, but all right, how do I get into the ships? Oh, maybe, ah, here, I think. Ah, ha, okay. All right. We're in, now let's close the door. There we go. All right, uh, no bed though. Right. But this area could be used for dumping cargo in. Okay. Enable ESP. 
Whoa, proximity flight assist? I don't want that. Where's the flight ready thing? Can I I don't want extra sensory perception. There's a lot of little stuff here. Right? They retract landing gear. Flight ready, that's all I want. Okay. I'll forego. Oh, oh, Ford, Ford, Ford. Landing gear raised. All right, we are off. New Babbage. Ooh. All right, set route. Okay, looks like we're good. Okay, let's time the quantum jump from Hurston to Microtech. Which is a pretty long jump, as far as these in-system jumps go. For those who uh, don't know, the, the jumps are sub-light, you can tell by how many kilometers per second we're going there. It's sleek and everything, certainly sleeker than the... than the previous starter ships. Which I sort of don't approve of. I feel like... I feel like starships should be clunky in a, in a sort of... And very utilitarian in a way. It's not so evident on this particular quantum jump, but on the smaller jumps sometimes the star colors will streak. Uh, you can sort of see the stars streaking in the background there, but they'll get smudged into a rainbow spectrum. So yeah, uh, the in-game chat as usual is very useful, uh, remarkably so. And here we see that uh, there is a different manufacturer featured at the expo every two days, actually. Uh, so you'll get a different selection of ships every two days. And it ends, the free fly event and all ends on December, December 2nd. So you have until then to jump in. So transit in space does take some time in the game, which is good. I mean, it's not as much time as it could take. So it's not... I mean, in system, it, uh, elite can be longer depending on the location of the particular planets involved, or uh, lesser stars. But um, yeah, it's certainly not instantaneous. And here we're coming up on about six minutes to Microtech. You can see sort of the spectral shifting I was talking about with those two streaks there. Okay, where is New Babbage? Over there. It's weird. Uh, something weird is going on. Uh, look, uh, when I tilt like this, Microtech looks like that. And when I tilt like it, it's flickering in a weird way. Well, uh, they've still got more work to do. Oh, and the quantum drive does not seem to be working the way I think it ought to. I can hear it uh, start up, but it doesn't show the quantum drive start up right now. It doesn't show the little logo. I mean, the UI element. We are in a glitchy situation. Let me go outside for a sec. Does it? It doesn't flicker the planet like this. Must be some sort of lighting effect in the cockpit. Oh. Yeah, that's weird. Well, now it's showing the spooling. Okay. Will you work now? Okay, now it works. Okay, let's see this new Babbage. Sort of built-in clusters, it looks like. Let's just go to look around. Why can't I? Oh, there's rain. That's new. Well, I mean, new for me. We're not going so slow that the drops would look like this, though. And they'd be streaking the other way. They need to take hints from Flight Sim about how that all works, I think. Ah! And then the clouds only seem to render 
at certain tilts. So, some work needs to be done here. Um, where where did the Lord, uh, sorry, New Babbage marker go? Hmm. There's some lights over there, like that's the spaceport. I, mean, I, I want to see how close I can get to the buildings, though. Maybe, maybe it's okay. I don't know how restricted it is. Let's take a look from outside so I don't get all the streaky. Again, I've, if I've been here before, the last time I played was months ago. There's a little marker there. I think that's just an ad, though. We don't see any rain from outside. Seems like a fun place to fly. Uh, the one thing is, it doesn't give the restricted area warning out here. See, the one big problem is the spaceport comm range is very limited. Like, more limited than Earth ATC is. So, I would like them to extend that just a little bit so that we can get those markers a little bit earlier. You basically have to be up right on top of the spaceport to get anything. Leaving restricted area. Well, I don't know what's so restricted about it. Let's hope it stays not so restricted. Okay, well, I can't scroll the map right now. Oh god, it all disappeared. Stop that. This definitely looks like a spaceport. That's what it looks like to me. Let's see if we can bring it up on comms. Okay, NB International Space, New Babbage International, or Interstellar, Interplanetary, something. It's not talking. Please proceed to assigned landing ah. bay. Okay, it's a deal. Um. Is that the sign landing bay? That's trying to indicate? Oh god, it would be helpful if it didn't disappear on me. I think that's the marker, but what? how could it be 1,000? Well, I guess I'm really high, but... Let me see. Is it in there? Oh, yeah. Okay, well... Could be worse, I suppose. Is it gonna open? Oh god, that's really small. But then again, there's a small ship. Oh god, there's another thing. There's another thing. Go, 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 go. Is this mine or is it? Maybe I was just seeing that other guy. Hmm. Gear hmm. Oh, mine's is over there. Jeez. That was just that other guy coming out. So confusing. Okay, can I do this? No, I'm not gonna collide. Stop it. Ah! Don't disappear, though. Oh, no, keep going forward. Keep going forward. My forward back is still on the main throttle, so it's overly sensitive in this situation. Alright. Alright. Uh, where's the turn off button? Power off. Weapons Success! <laughs> it's always a challenge. Why to get out of the seat? The recording says encoding overloaded, so I hope it's getting stuff. Yeah, Star Citizen is using 64% of my CPU, and OBS, which is recording this, is using everything else <laughs> so um, yeah the recording may not be coming out as well as I would like 
I mean, it's smooth enough for me, but I don't think 20 frames is what most people would like. Call elevator. That's different from the way it is elsewhere. I'm like, have I called the elevator? It's not the usual little thing. Okay, well, it looks like it worked. Hopefully... Well, this is totally different. Nope, terminal. Yep, I've not been here before, so this is a totally different sort of situation. I guess they'll eventually change the ele other elevators to this system, or maybe not. I don't know. This reminds me of, like, Mass Effect Andromeda. Sort of feel. Same sort of bluish-white color scheme. On that ship. MT Metro Loop. Yep, yeah, I guess that's what I want. Metro sounds like what we need. Uh, down here? Microtech. Transport. It's always a uh, show floor. Okay, that's where we want to go. The Tobin Expo Center. Alright. Do I want to go on the ele elevator? I don't. Well, it says show floor this way. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. All elevator. Jeez, fancy stuff. Metro loop. Jeez, it takes a lot to get to the metro around here. Okay, still metro loop. Show floor this way. Okay, finally. This looks like a metro tube. So, this is telling me to stay here. 20 seconds here. Maglev, huh? Still? <laughs> Ooh, very fancy. I like it. Open, 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 open. Totally clear. We can see out the front. That's nice. Microtech's got all the money, you can tell. No, oh, this way. It's going this way. I don't know how well the video is going to come out, <laughs> considering it keeps saying encoding overloaded. So, for those who will ask, uh, I've got an i7-4790K it just at 4 gigahertz, I haven't overclocked it. And it's an RTX 2070. It's running off of an SSD and I've got 32 gigs of RAM. But I am recording at the same time. And that's occupying about a third of my processor. Purple. Okay. <clears throat> All right. You got any more signs for me? Uh, show for no. I don't think so. Wait, maybe this is the wrong place. I don't know. Wait, what? I I came here. Oh, okay, fine. I I I'll, I'll go in. I'll go in. Maybe this is the wrong stop. No, it's going back. Okay, it said... No? Okay, this is a different stop. Oh, and it's this... Okay. Two floor... Okay, okay. So that was a different stop. Whoa, that guy's got... These guys got fancy outfits. I'm just a noob. Thank you for helping. Told you I always get lost in these places. Okay. Uh, further up. This is not very friendly for people with disabilities. This should be an elevator. Um, Anvil Aerospace. Journey awaits. Well, I guess we're ready at the Expo Center. Yeah, looks like it. 
that on. It's direct to expo. All right. Okay. We've got various halls here. I guess expo. This is probably the lobby though. But that is it. Two expo expo lobbies. That's confusing. Uh, I didn't want to click both. Interesting that you can click both though. Okay. Well. Um, all right. Th this actually. All right. We go up the escalator. Or stairs again. Well, at least there's sort of a ramp thing here. I'll take the ramp. This is the Merlin. I've got one, but it's not. You can't uh, do quantum jumps with it, but you can do racing with it, and that's what I wanted it for. And the engines look nice, so it's a big selling point for me. This I think is like the upgraded version, but costs more obviously it is the Archimedes Archimedes so this is the Crusader Mercury Star Runner we could rent it I guess I might as well while I'm here no harm I think or there could be a glitch of some kind you know all right uh, fine we'll rent it who knows oh let's go up the ramp yep Doesn't look like we can go too far though, but yeah, nice cargo bay. Oh, rovers. Well, you know, I mean, I don't have anything that can deploy them anyway. But all right, tumbrel rovers. I'm sure they're fun. This one does not have a cannon on top. And that one does. That's the only difference I note. <laughs> These are somewhat different, but only subtly. They seem more sporty, less rugged. I don't know. All right, I guess Anvil Hall. I don't know if that other expo lobby has more. Let's see, what do we have here? A lot of people standing around that thing. That's a uh, big gun. <laughs> oh, this looks nice. Anvil arrow. Very convincing. It is the Anvil C8X Pisces Expedition. Moment one. This one has a walk-in. I like the ones with the walk-in bay. In the back. It's easy to remember how to get in and out. Uh, so again, every two days, these um, the ships on display will be different. This is an Anvil Hawk. I don't I don't particularly like the look of it, but we'll, we'll give it a try, perhaps. If I have time. Not high on the list. I mean, different people like different aesthetics. This has sort of a more insectoid aesthetic to it. What is going on here, anyway? Hmm. Yeah, I don't quite get it. And if those are the engines, that's horrible placements, you know. And then there's this behemoth. This is like this is a huge bay, obviously. This. Costs a bundle, I'm sure. Anvil Carrick. I've heard people talk about it. Um, oh, it doesn't have a rent button. Uh, oh, no, there it is. I mean... Sort of felt like the whole seem bigger oh oh we've got this whole area too I, I don't know about the wisdom of splitting the hole into different sections though hmm. yeah we've got another well I guess that could be useful for certain things there's another cargo hold 
if you've got like rabid animals or something, I don't know. I, I'm recalling Force Awakens here, but uh, uh, the, probably this is not good enough to contain those guys, whatever they were called. Okay, uh, we've got... I don't know what this is supposed to be. A shower, maybe? I don't know. Do you need six? Aft turret. Scott. Jeez. There's a lot of space just to uh, get somebody into an aft turret. You know, this is completely wasted space. This is... This is not how space vehicles are. They just have the little tunnel here and use this area and this area on the sides for something th completely different. You don't need two doors to the aft turret. It's crazy. Hmm. Yeah. People just don't understand space, really. Okay, uh, call elevator. You just don't need it like that. It's very inefficient. I mean, even if you have all this space in this uh, vehicle, cartography deck, technical deck, habitation, sub deck. Um, we'll start with cartography deck. Even if you have all this, you'd still use it efficiently. Yeah, I'm supposing it's just symmetrical. That's another thing. It, it wouldn't necessarily be symmetrical all the time. And that's an escape pod. Well, I guess that's nice. Also, uh, captain's quarters. I mean, I guess that'll be on the habitation deck, but that seems to be lower than usual. Let's see, technical deck might be the bridge. Another aft turret. There's uh, starboard turret. Engineering. Well, we should say, see what engineering looks like. Well, that's, uh, those are thruster looking things. Those are the engines, I suppose. Caution. Quantum jump drive. Oh. Now we're talking. Well, at least engineering looks good. Hangar bay. Oh, this is how you get into the hangar bay. All right. Does it automatically open or not? Well, anyway, I'm satisfied that that is a hangar bay. Okay, good. And what's going on in there? There's the bridge. Uh, well, okay, another wasted door for no reason. You w you don't if you don't need it. Well, I guess there's an escape pod. I guess the escape pods. Did they merit a separate door? Maybe. Maybe they merit a separate door for containment. But uh, I don't know. Uh, upper bridge and lower bridge. That seems unnecessary. Uh, you wouldn't want that, I don't think, but... This seems... Is there a chair? <laughs> I mean... You gotta stand to use the con, I suppose. Chip-like, I suppose. These guys get chairs. I don't know what this is for when we've got cartography at the bottom. Well, I mean, maybe cartography's for jumps and all. Okay. Uh, what is the lower bridge then? They spent too much time on this. <laughs> they need to fix the game first. Alright, uh, lower bridge. There's these guys. And they're doing what exactly? I don't know. I mean, the turrets are separate. What do we need these people for with their double joysticks? You know, not every member of the crew needs the ability to control the ship, right? They don't all need the joysticks. Ah, oh, this looks like a captain's ready room. And toilet? No? I haven't found a toilet yet. There's a bed. There's a creepy looking bear. Uh, okay. Alright! Toilet! Finally! Awesome. Well, there's one toilet. Okay, and a mirror. That does not reflect me. Um, I'm now a vampire. Chess mat. Without pieces. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, we are all for sale. Hmm. Financial diaspora. Clan brutality. Jeez. Oh, this is a rough world they've got here. Okay, um... 
I, oh, I guess this is a form of pool. And uh, that's a toilet. Can you go to the toilet? No? Alright. Well, who I have a right to privacy. And uh, they're box. Okay, so that's fine. And a shower. Not bad. So, this is basically the full Normandy kind of thing. So, yeah, this is definitely like life goals kind of ship. Garage. This is the garage, actually. This is not the cargo hold. <laughs> Alright, back out into the hall with its bright lights. So we rented one of those. <laughs> I have no idea how that's gonna fly. That's probably gonna end in an explosion when I try it. I haven't seen this one yet, have I? Uh, this is the Anvil Gladiator. Well, don't mind if I do. Alright, so I think I'll save some test flights for a different video. If they prove to be sufficiently interesting. But this is the expo, and if you do have the ability to download Star Citizen or Willingness 2, uh, it might be interesting to check it out for free um, and see if your system can handle it or not. Uh, if only to uh, tour some of the ships, I suppose. Uh, that Carrick is uh, impressive in its way. We can actually see somebody running, in, uh, running around in there. The funny thing is, I, I didn't encounter anybody in there because it's so cavernous. <laughs> so, yep. I'm just sort of slewing to the right here as I say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.